So in this video, we're going to be learning how to create our infinite scrolling photo feed. So we've already learned how to upload photos and store them in our database and upload them to upload car. In this video, we're going to be learning how to display them. So in this video, we're going to be doing the profile page and photo feed that shows all of our photos and all of the photos from people we're following. So let's get started. So the way we get photos is we send an Ajax request to Ajax photo feed and we pass it a start variable which is how we do the infinite scrolling because we're only downloading small chunks of pictures each time uh, and we scroll to the bottom of the page and what we do is we just append the photo into this class called load photos and we append this effect onto the photo which is an upload car effect that reduces the quality because we're not displaying the images at their full size we're shrinking them down and we want them to load really quickly so I've set it to the lightest setting you could set it to a slightly higher setting or you could leave this out entirely if you wanted your images to be their full quality. And then down here is the code for liking photos. We're going to get onto that in a later video. So what happens is when the page loads, we run get posts and we load our photos. And then we do our infinite scrolling system. Just like in the social network series on how code, we do the exact same infinite scrolling system. So this is all we have to do on the index page. What we have to do is create another URL for our Ajax request. So we have our Ajax photo feed and we want to send it to the view Ajax photo feed. And that view looks exactly the same as every other Ajax view. But one thing to notice, this request is a get request not a post request and we are sending the user details along with it because this is a request that you have to be logged in to be able to send just like saving a photo you have to be logged in to send a request otherwise we're going to assume the requests are invalid so back on forms that's where we're going to do the majority of the heavy lifting so this is the code of our photo feed so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the request isn't malformed and this start variable just tells us which chunk of photos we want to download then what we're doing is we're checking if the user has a profile photo and if they don't we're just going to give them a default one the reason this is in a loop at the moment is because we're going to change this to check the follower list but we haven't implemented that so for the minute we're just going to leave it checking just our username and then down here is where we print out the photos so we select all of the photos where the owner is our username and we order them by the date they were uploaded and we get all the photos in chunks of three and then what we do is we just append onto our output the photo id the photo url the caption the owner the likes the date uploaded and some other information as well. And then what we do is we just print it out. And now what we're gonna try and do is load the page. So when I load the page, it's gonna send the Ajax request off. So now you can see it sent the Ajax request and it returned the one photo that we've uploaded and it returned it with the effects, with our caption and everything that we wanted. So the next thing we have to do is our profile page. So for the profile page, it's a bit more complicated. We wanna be able to go to our website forward slash our username to access our profile page. So the way we do that is we use a, is we use a regular expression in Django, this is it here. Uh, and what we do is put in the regular expression for our username that we had when we validate usernames. And we're just gonna store that in a parameter called username. We also have the Ajax profile feed, which is how we load images on the profile page. So inside our views, we just wanna paste in our Ajax profile feed. So here's our profile and in our URLs, whenever we pass this username parameter, it gets passed to our view as an extra variable. And what we do is we check if the user exists. If the user exists, we download their details and store it in this variable. We check if they have a profile photo, if they don't we give them a default one and then we create some variables for the page in this case we have a profile photo we have a variable that tells us whose profile it is and we have another one that tells us who we're logged in as so then what we do is we check if the user is logged in if the user is logged in we show them the logged in profile page otherwise we show them the non-logged in one the logged in profile page just has additional stuff on it like the ability to follow people and if the profile doesn't exist we redirect the user to the home view so i'm just going to paste these two templates in so on the profile page, we just do what we regularly do. It's pretty much the same as the photo feed, except we're accessing Ajax profile feed and we're passing in the username. The rest of this code is just the way we display the images. The only difference between the profile page and the logged in profile page is on the logged in one, we have a follow button and we have these menu buttons along the top. We don't have them for a user who's logged out. So the Ajax profile feed is really simple. All we do is we get the username of whoever's profile it is and we use the start variable to determine what chunk of photos we want to download. It's very similar to the photo feed. Uh, and what we do is we check if the request is malformed or not. And then all we do is we download all of the photos where the owner is equal to the user whose profile it is. And we do what we did last time where we order the photos by the date they were uploaded. So the newest photos are at the top and we only get the photos in chunks of three. Then our output is exactly the same as it was for the photo feed. So if I save this and refresh the profile page now, you can see we get our one photo 
returned. This button should say follow, it's just a bug because we haven't implemented following yet. And when I click on this photo, it downloads the photo from upload car. And whenever it's finished downloading, it shows this box with the photo and then I can like it and do whatever I want. But that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. In the next video, we're going to be learning about how to use upload car for profile photos and how to change the profile photos. And because we're using upload car, we're also able to apply effects to our profile photos. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.